Hello and welcome to the 12 steps um, to Navier Stokes, originally taught by Lorena Barber. And in this case, we are going to model in step 8 uh, the Burgess equation. So, the Burgess equation is a fundamental partial differential equation and that's um, used in a, in a wide range of, um, of, of physical problems, such as nonlinear acoustics, fluid mechanics, gas dynamics, and also traffic flow. It's named after Johannes Martinus Burgers, and yeah, we will take a look at it now. Right, so um, let's quickly take a look at the equations here. Um, from my notes, the 2D Burgers equation combine the convective term from step 6 and the diffusion term from step 7. Here displayed on the left side the convective term and on the right side the diffusion term as you had two terms in the convection term, uh, I mean two equations, so you do have also two equations for the 2D Burgers equation. So it's a little bit more work here, but um, it will pay off in the end. So we will start with the same initial conditions and boundary conditions as we used in step number seven and six, and we will just switch to MATLAB. All right, let's take a new script, save that as step eight, and we're about to ready to go. Now, um, the initial conditions have to be adjusted a little bit, and we'll just look on it on here. So we will have a little bit um, bigger grid. Um, just copy the initial conditions here in order to, to save time. Okay. And we have to adapt it to MATLAB language to our enough. Okay, and the semicolons. All right, so the variable declarations are done. Now we are defining the grid. Grid always with lin space, in this case also 0, 2, and x, and y equals lin space 0, 2, and y. Now we have to define two functions. In this case, we have u um, once in an x and an y and also v equals once an x and y okay you can say that un equals u and vn equals v. <coughs> we need them later. So those are two temporary um, containers where we want to save our values. And we also need a combination equals once and y and x. Okay, in my script I have and y at the first place and then x on the second place, which doesn't matter uh, because and y equals nx, but let's make it like that. Okay, now we have the, um, the initial conditions. And those are um, u. Now we have round brackets, oops u and we want to say 0 0.5 divided by dy to 1 divided by y plus 1 
and 0 0.5 divided by the x to 1 divided by the x plus 1. So which which um, that that means that we are defining now values ranging from 0 0.5 to 1. And this uh, division by dy is um, uh, the scaling for, for our uh, length. Okay, we are setting that to 2. Okay. Unfortunately, the shortcuts are different from from the ones I use in Eclipse. Okay, now we have the same thing for V, and it's the exact same thing. All right, two semicolons and the initial conditions are done. Now, uh, maybe we want to plot that. Uh, we will just make surf command surf x y u but that's just possible if i do a mesh grid before that x y equals mesh grid x y okay now we should see the function as expected and we looks the same way okay and i forgot somewhere a semicolon yeah right good um let's move on to the implementation of the real function i just will begin with um, the construct and then later fill in the equation so we have a outer loop of the time so for n equals 1 2 and t plus 1 and somewhere this gets to an end next um, we want to assign the calculated values for u and v which we will be doing right now um, into the containers un and u uh, un and vn so un and vn are your temporary initial conditions for the iteration in time and now we want to do the actual calculation so we have two uh, iterations one over the y coordinate and one over the x coordinate so for y we will we will begin with y um, for one uh, for i equals two to ny minus one And for j equals 2 to an x minus 1. These minus 1 values, they come from the fact that we will be accessing um, we will be accessing something like here i plus 1 and j plus 1. And if we go through the end of the grid, um, then this access cannot be done anymore. So we can just calculate the values one point before the grid ends. And in that calculation, we access the values at the end of the grid. Okay. So those are the two loops. They also end at a specific point. And that is our construct. Now we want to um implement a function and that will be a little bit painfully but it's in short words it is um, those two formulas but rearrange that you have u i j from n plus one okay so let's begin. I hope I don't do any typos. So u i j equals u i j minus the t divided by the x times u i j 
times no, two. I comma J minus U I minus one J closing that minus DT DY times V I comma J times u i comma j minus u i comma j minus one I'm closing that plus new also brackets here new times dt divided by dx squared times u i minus 1 j minus 2 u i comma j plus u i minus 1 comma j and closing that plus and now we have new terms dt divided by dy squared times u i comma j plus one Minus two times u i comma j plus u i comma j minus one. Should be able to close that. I've got a bracket here. All right, now this should be it for the first equation. And the second equation is about the same, but you have to be very carefully where we change u to y. It's not that obvious. So v from ij equals vij, dt dx equals the same. Now here we have the first is equal, then we have here v and we v is equal and we have here v and v that's also exactly equal now this term is completely v seems to be the diffusion term and that is equal again and now we have also three values with v again and that should be about it i hope that i did not make any typos because if i did oh well I don't know what's the error with that. Some brackets are not closed or something like that. Okay, let's look at that. Vij, Vij minus. Oh, okay, there the ones are missing. Okay, but that seems about it. Um, what we have to specify are some boundary conditions here. 
And in this case, we will just say that um, all the elements on the corner are one. And we have to define that uh, in every iteration. So we say u i to uh, one two and y comma one. So the first column equals one. U one one two and x equals one. U one two and x comma and y equals one and u um, and y one two and x yeah and y one two and x equals one okay And because we have two functions, we just have to do the very same for v. V, 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 v. And that should be about it. In order to see the Burgess equation develop, we can take here a surf command x, y, u. And we take a pause, 0 0.1. What struck me a little bit is that we didn't use the comp code. Maybe I did that on an earlier stage. See something, but I cannot see it here in the code. So we'll try it without it. Okay. It's developing a little bit slowly. But you can see it. Maybe I can rotate it. Ah, it ended. Okay. So you see that the shape change, and also it's it's a decrease in altitude. Okay. Maybe we will do a second run with two fifty time steps. Let's see what that does. A little bit too slow. Hmm. We could decrease the sigma. See if that changes anything. Because, uh, I mean, increase. Because you, if we increase the sigma, then the t will get increased and then it will go much faster but with less precision maybe we'll stay at that yeah you, you, here you can see it clearly more, more clearly all right that's about the Burgess equation and as it is stated um, on the web page from Lorena Barber this marks a milestone on the project. So it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, quite a thing uh, to accomplish. So thanks for watching and um, see you next time.